All right, you guys. So one more video on this beautiful Friday night, um, and then I'm going to call it a quits. But this quick video, I'm going to show you guys how to score your leads, um, why you should even score your leads, and how exactly to do that inside of clay.com. Um, so first, you're probably wondering, like, why should I even score my leads? How does it work? Um, that's a really good question. The reason is, is because not every lead is equal, right? Not every account is equal based off of the public data and then also the private data um, that you could see off of an account. Um, the lead might be better qualified, you know, now versus six months from now. They might have better indications that look, they might be looking to outsource XYZ, XYZ being, you know, your software, XYZ being your service, et cetera, et cetera. And also being able to essentially qualify leads at scale um, to hit the highest number of leads possible um, with the highest score. So let's say, for example, since this lead right here, broad example, this lead is a negative three based off of the criteria that I put in. Now, this lead compared to a lead that is, let's say, an 11, what usually SDRs do is they would spend the same amount of time reaching out and personalizing and manually enriching and following up, et cetera, et cetera, with this person as this person as well. Um, and if you have just, you know, two leads, that's not a problem. But if you have tens of thousands of, of leads and your target market is not, you know, single digits or double digits or even triple digits, um, it's very, very likely that doing some sort of lead scoring process inside of your company is going to save you a lot of money. And it's going to help you prioritize accounts so you can reach out to them at the right time and then also focus your attention on them. What I usually recommend companies do is the higher the score. So let's say, for example, a out, out of this sequence, I think the highest score was like a 15. Um, if the lead is above like a seven, then we would send very, very personalized app on whether that is direct mail, the SDR would cold call, um, the SDR would reach out directly on LinkedIn. Because with LinkedIn, there's a lot of restrictions. You can't just mass send connection requests anymore. Unfortunately, that's not the case. So you need to very, very you need to be very careful on who exactly you're reaching out to on LinkedIn. A very low amount. So you need to reach out to the highest scored leads. Um, like I said, direct mail, cold calling, LinkedIn outbound, personal loom videos, and then the leads that are below a seven. Just get whatever data you'd like to personalize your emails with and then set them up inside of an automated smart lead campaign. Push the leads that are below a seven to a smart lead campaign and then the higher leads um, essentially get, you know, set up directly into your CRM, whether you use HubSpot, Salesforce, Close, et cetera, et cetera. Whatever you use, it gets pushed directly to the SDR so they can start doing their work. <clears throat> so I can show you guys the criteria real quick. Um, like I said, this is just a very, very broad example. Um, obviously it's going to be very different than what you guys do because we don't have the same company, of course. All right. So for this example, really quick, um, I basically wanted clay to find out if this software company was a B2B company or a B2C company. Once it gave me that output, which is exactly what I needed. Um, cause sometimes I, I scrape this list from Crunchbase. Sometimes if you're scraping from Crunchbase, Apollo, zoom info, et cetera, et cetera, it's not always 100% accurate. That's completely fine. I just wanted to use clay and I wanted to use AI to double check. For this example, if it is a B2B SaaS, I'm giving it a score of four. If it is a B2C SaaS, I'm giving it a score of one because I prioritize these B2B companies more than B2C. And if it is B2C, um, let's say you guys are targeting both, then B2C, obviously, you know, you could help them, but they're not as much of a priority as these B2B SaaS companies. The next one. Um, I basically identified like, look, are they on a podcast? And if so, can you find the name of the podcast so I could compliment them on their guest appearance on that podcast? It's a very, very good personalization touch point. So I basically said like, look, with this exact column right here, which is the output of this column being Clayjet, does it equal not able to find podcast? If it does equal not able to find podcast, then I want you to subtract three points from the score. Again, the higher the score, the more priority you want to, you know, focus on with these companies. And then this one as well. This is essentially, you know, how many backlinks. This is pretty good for, you know, any sort of SEO offer, any sort of PPC offer, um, websites, landing pages, et cetera, et cetera. They want to see how many sitemaps they have, how many pages they have. And for example, you guys could use something like, hey, if it is between zero and 20 sitemaps, total sitemaps, I want you to give it a score of four. 
you know, the sky's the limit. You guys could use this and tailor it to whatever your company is, whatever, you know, your ICP is, whatever your ideal customer situation is. Um, and then also for technologies, we're able to find the technology stack of the companies. And let's just say, for example, the tech stack keyword had HubSpot in it. So that means they're most likely using HubSpot as their CRM. Let's give them a score of 10 because you guys might do HubSpot consulting, HubSpot, you know, any sort of sales process optimization, et cetera, et cetera, they get a higher score. And then at the end, essentially saying like, look, is this actually a SaaS company? I would say nine times out of 10, it's going to be, but let's just say, you know, it messes up. Um, then this would get a score of seven. You know, this is just an example, like I said, but it could be two or three, um, whatever. If it's false, then it would, you know, completely delete it from the clay table. Um, so yeah, that's basically it for this video. Like I said, very, very short, very to the point. I'm just showing you guys how to score leads and showing you guys the infinite possibilities of clay.com.